What's going on guys and in this video I'm going to show you how to create this crawling text effect only using HTML and CSS. So let's get started with our HTML file first of all. And here I have a main div with the class name of box and then inside of that I have a simple paragraph tag and inside that I have written the classic text. The kick brown fox jumps out the lazy dog. And that's it. So that's it on the HTML side of things. In the SCSS, I've already normalized everything right here using padding and margin to be zero. And then on body, I have given a height 100, 100 VH and then did everything to center everything on the center everything. Yeah, center everything on the center. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying, but that's it. <laughs> and overflow hidden, I don't need it right here. And then I've given a background black right here. All right, now let's start styling our box. So for that dot box, and then give it a height of 40 pixels and width of 400 pixels, and then a background of white. All right. Now we will be seeing it right here. The text is aligned at the start nicely, but I need it to be vertically centered. So for that, I'm going to use the display flex and align items from here and copy it and paste it right here. There we go. It is centered nicely right here. And the next thing we need to do is uh, style the paragraph. So for that, I'm going to use P and then give it a font size of 14 pixels I personally want it to be like this and one more thing I need the box to have a box shadow and that's gonna be 0 pixels 0 pixels sin since I don't want any X or Y offset and then 30 pixels for the blur radius and then give it a 555 hexadecimal code there we go we have a nice glowing box right here and the next thing we need to do is this one all right so font family now you can just keep it like this if you like but I want it to be Helvetica which is my personal favorite Tika. Oh. here it should be C there you go it's changed and looking nice right now and we need to give it a animation so here I have already predefined the animation so this is basically a simple animation at keyframes and then scroll which is the animation name and then 0% left 100% negative 100% which means it's going to be offset at right here and then positive 100% it's going to be offset right here okay now we can use animation property and then scroll uh, 8 seconds infinite so it will be moving on forever also we need a position absolute absolute so that it will move freely on its own position okay now let's just see how it works yeah it's moving but there are two problems right here three problems actually so as you can see the it is overflowing from here and there we go we can see the overflow text right here if the background wasn't black and also it breaks apart right here there we go and the breaking apart is having a has a simple fix so for that we are using width of 100% so now it should be, shouldn't be breaking there we go and also the animation is in as smooth so for that I'm gonna use linear so that the animation has a constant speed rate so there we go it's moving at a constant speed right here and for as for the overflowing issue 
we can use overflow hidden and it won't work like this because it isn't having a position relative so when the paragraph is uh, positioned relative to the box it will uh, abide by the rules of the box so here if we put overflow hidden the paragraph will be hidden when it's overflown about the, after the box so relative and now let's just see how it works there we go it's now not overflowing there we go and yeah this is basically the running or scrolling text using only HTML and CSS. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new on the way. Until the next video, goodbye.